some of your colleagues have also made it clear that to get that, you'd have to accept some version of free movement of people once we've left the EU, a different free movement of people, but some kind of free movement of people. I think we made that clear during the election, that quite clearly there are a lot of British people working in Europe, a lot of European people working in this country. We would do two things. One is guarantee the rights of EU nationals to remain here, including a right of family reunion, and we would all expect the same to be done across Europe. And obviously, skills are needed on both sides of the channel. I mean, you look at any major company in Britain, they require European skills as they do British mm. skills on their side. BMW, for example, and many Absolutely. others. Absolutely. So we're outside the EU, but to get full access to the single market, we accept that um, there's free movement of people coming from the EU to us and vice versa. Well, it, it would be a managed thing on the basis of the work required. Right, but it would, it would be re you wouldn't be stopping people at the border no, you, asking for their the, visas? There would be uh, European workers working in Britain and British workers working in Europe, um, as there are at the moment. What there wouldn't be is a wholesale importation of uh, underpaid workers from Central Europe in order to destroy conditions, particularly in the construction industry. So, so how what do you I may stop that? Under your plan, how do you stop that happening? You prevent uh, agencies recruiting uh, whole-scale workforces like that. You advertise for jobs in the locality first. But you don't, st to be absolutely clear, you don't stop people coming from Latvia or Poland who want to come and work here. You don't stop them at the airport or the border and Listen, say, Listen, they would come here payment. on the basis of the jobs available and their skill mm. sets to go with it. What we wouldn't allow is this practice by agencies who are quite disgraceful, the way they do it. Mm. Uh, recruit a workforce low sure. paid and bring them here in order to dismiss an existing workforce in the construction industry then pay them low wages. It's, it's appalling. But and just, the only people sorry, who benefit just, just going back to my original question, would you allow everybody who wanted to come here to come here or would you stop them at there uh, would the be, ports uh, and as airports? The, as I said and we said during the election it would be on the basis of the economic needs and skills required and so for example so you, the so need you would for say, the we, need don't, we don't need any more plumbers no, you go home the again. need for nurses for example is huge and uh, we now have a problem of uh, nurse shortage because of the number of Polish nurses who have either gone home or not coming. Absolutely. And so that, that we have to be sensible about this. Right, but I'm still slightly unclear. If there was, for instance, um, some Polish plumbers and we decided we have enough plumbers in this country, would they be stopped and told they had to go home again or would they be allowed in anyway? We will look at the situation on the basis of the job and skill needs. Right.